All right, we're going to be covering footwork as on the black belt test. Mr. Jameson on my right side. I'm Mr. Prieto. Some of you may or may not know me. Okay, uh, we're going to cover the different type of footwork so that you're responsible to know. Uh, on the sheet, it says you're not. You don't have to show the footwork uh, individually, although that would be a good thing. But on fighting, you should be able to do these. Now, there's different types of footwork from all different types of fighters. What we want to do is give you an array of different footwork actions that you can learn and practice and hopefully find the one that works best for you. And it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you are going to be bouncing, some of you are going to be more static, some of you are going to be moving around a lot, of, a lot more, some of you are more defensive fighters, some of you are more offensive fighters. But learn the different footwork actions, practice them all, uh, and as you practice them all, hopefully you'll find the one that works best for you. Okay, I'm going to, we're going to start with lunges. Mr. Jameson will uh, start working that. We've got different kind of lunges here. The first one is going to be a forward lunge. Uh, he moves his foot six inches. He moves his back foot six inches. If he goes back, he does the same thing. So whatever direction he goes, okay, his feet are almost always in a fighting stance. And when he gets there, they remain in a fighting stance. There's no time where his feet are going to end up coming together. Six inches forward, six inches backward, it's the same thing as the other foot is doing. If it's eight inches, a foot, whatever it happens to be. Okay, so you'll do it a couple times now, forward, going backwards, there you go. Those are easy movements, and we'll be putting hand combinations in on the next uh, tape that we do. Okay, we'll give you five or ten seconds here, practice that a little bit on your own. Forward lunges, backward lunges, you see what he's doing there, you need to watch again. Body's loose and relaxed as he does the movement. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is going to be sideways. Okay, so this time, if he moves forward, he moves his forward foot. If he moves backward, he moves his backward foot. If he moves left, Mike, toward me, he moves that foot. If he moves the other way, he moves the other foot. So, left means left foot, right means right foot. You do not want to, at any time, Cross your feet, and you always want to end up in a fighting position, always in base, ready to, to do a, a strong attack. So right now, watch again. There he goes right, there he goes to the left. Okay, just see you practice that a little bit on your own. Sideways movement. So lunge to the left side, left side, lunge to the right side. You can also move around in different directions too, as if your opponent is moving a little bit. You don't have to do everything absolutely straight ahead. Now very quickly, let's see you practice all those that we've covered so far. Forward lunge, backward lunge, right lunge, left lunge. Mix it up a little bit on your own. All right, now let's go back to a different action. I'm going to stand right in front so you can see what's going to happen here. Okay, I'm the bad guy. This time he's going to lunge at an angle so he ends up to the side of me. Okay, but then from that point, I'm, I'm weaker here. I have to try to turn to get to him, and hopefully before he does that, I do that, he's already attacking. He can also go up to the other side. Okay, you can see when he steps, go back to Mr. Jameson, that he doesn't do the front foot. If he did his front foot, he'd be in an awkward position. So when he moves, lunges to this side, he steps through with a lunge, and again, he's on my side. Okay, and also from that position, he can start circling around behind me. He gets his back boom, now he's ready to attack to the side. So it's very advantageous for you to know angular movements. Okay, he can also move back at an angle. Okay, and back to this position, he can step back at an angle this way. Okay, so sometimes I'm the bad guy and I'm attacking and he just angles away and gets out of my way and is able to counter. Okay, so the next thing we want you to do is work on angular movements, like the letter X, going in and out, 45 degree angle. Remember, you always end up in a fighting stance. Good, all right, now for the next 10, 15 seconds, do them all, okay? At any time you do a fighting combination of any time at all, there should always be very loose and relaxed, like a game of tag. Somebody's trying to tag you and you're ready to move quickly. You're not just standing there, 
in a static position and then doing a movement, doing a movement. You should always be very mobile, very, very move fast, left, right, push off to the side, etc. Move in different directions, go this way, go that way, mix it up a little bit on your own. Okay, you got 10, 15 seconds, let me see you do that. Make sure you're explosive, explosive when you do the movement. You're ready to move. Like somebody's ready to tag you, and this tag is not a touch, this tag is someone trying to punch you in the face. Move around. Lunge to the left, lunge to the right. And keep those hands up. We can't emphasize enough. I didn't mention at the start, but your hands should always be in a guard position, right next to your jaw. You also want to tuck your chin in a little bit. Give me your forehead, look through your eyebrows instead of having your head straight up and down. And here, use those shoulders. Use those shoulders as you do the movement to cover your head a little bit better as you do those lunges. Okay, 10 more seconds. Shoot around, move to the left, move to the right, mix it up a little bit. Good, all right, moving on. Next thing is a slide up. Okay, a slide up, your feet will come together and then apart. Together and apart, whether you're going forward or backward. In uh, Mr. Norton's fighting days, that was one of his most favorite techniques. It's a slide up gap and reverse punch, a slide up movement. All right, now it's different than a shuffle. A shuffle, the body keeps moving. Okay, in the slide up, you have slight hesitation while you slide up and do a movement, whether it's a kick or a jab or whatever. Okay, in a shuffle movement, the body's continuing to go forward. Both good movements, by the way. So right now you're doing a slide up. So feet together and apart. Feet together and apart. Watch Mr. Jameson. Feet together and apart. Same thing when you're going backwards. Feet together and apart. And again, the most common attack of this is jab, slide up, reverse punch. That was one of Mr. Norris's favorite techniques. Okay, you got a few, uh, 10 seconds or so, let's see you practice the slide up movement. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, now the next thing on the list here is a step through, and we'll do the shuffle right after that. The step through is exactly what it says. If I'm in, in, in position here and I start to step and I go right here, obviously my head's wide open. So as I do the movement, I want to make sure my hands are coming in front. My hands are coming in front as I do the movement. My hands have to be in position here, always protecting my face instead of being in this direction here. Watch Mr. Davidson. He'll be doing step throughs. Going forward, going backwards, and sit. And all the time he's doing this, he's going to be throwing some, a few fakes in there, trying to set up. You don't want your partner to know when you're coming. It's got to be a complete surprise. You're bouncing, you're faking, you're moving, okay? All right, you've got 10 seconds. Let me see you practice that a little bit on your own. All right, moving on. The shuffle, like I said before, the shuffle is a continual movement. If I'm moving, I'm continuing to go, whether it's forward or backwards, okay? So it's a, a much stronger, more, more uh, explosive movement forward as you do the movement. Watch Mr. Jameson, he's gonna shoot forward with a shuffle, okay? so that body's just exploding forward. And he's gonna do the same thing, getting away from the bad guy as fast as he can. And again, probably the most common thing again is the jab and the reverse punch, so they'll add that in there. There you go. And he can also do the same thing going back. Absolutely. Okay, so do that you for a few seconds on your own. Fast shuffle. Explosive movement. Drive that, drive that body forward. Drive that body forward as you do the movement. Okay, right. We're especially working the footwork right now. Again, we're going to concentrate a lot more on the hand techniques on, on the next uh, video. All right. The next movement here, we got bouncing. Okay, bouncing up and down, some of you will prefer it, some of you won't like it. You do it anyway just to feel what works best for you. The first bounce is going to be up and down. Okay, so you're in a five position, you're throwing some few fakes in there, but your body's up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. A lot of fighters like to do this movement. Some of the best fighters on the tournament circuit love to do this bouncing movement, and then boom, all of a sudden they explode on you and do the next technique, whatever it happens to be. So let's see you practice that a little bit. Up and down. Up and down, up and down, and make sure you're throwing up your shoulders in there. Keep that chin tucked in, keep those hands up. Bounce up and down, that's it, move around, throw some fakes in there. We'll let them know when you're coming. Five or six more seconds with that one. 
Okay, the next one is bouncing forward and backwards. So this time you're in and out, in and forward and backwards, forward and backwards. So we go like that move, in and out. Watch Mr. Jameson, in and out, in and out, in and out. I'm showing your side view of it. Okay, so you're going closer to him, away from him, close, and it's somewhere in there, boom, you're going to explode the hand combinations in there. Let's see you practice that one. In and out, forward and backwards, forward and backwards. Practice that, give you another five or six seconds to practice that move. Side to side. So we went up and down. We went forward and backwards. Now he's going to go side to side. Little to the left, little to the right. Little to the left, little to the right. Little to the left, little to the right. So subtle movement side to side. In some situations, you put a combination of all those together. Up and down, forward and backwards, side to side. Okay, right now we're just doing the side to side move. Okay, and then again, anywhere from in there, all of a sudden, boom, you can explode and do a combination. Okay, okay, and relax. Okay, we're going to go back to the shuffle just for a second because I left out a couple things here. On the shuffle, we have a regular shuffle where your feet come together and apart. So as you shuffle, the back foot comes up to the front foot, then the front foot steps out. Then there's one that goes past that. My back foot's going to end up past my front foot without ever, uh, without my front, with my front foot shooting out. So it's kind of a bouncing movement, okay? So it's a shuffle where your feet don't cross, but you shoot out in front. Watch Mr. Jameson. He's going to do a little more action there, so he's going to cover more space with this movement. But the feet never cross, okay? But now you see on the first one, he comes up to where his front foot is. On the second one, watch where his back foot ends up. He's gained another foot, foot and a half of action there on that shuffle. Practice that a little bit. You got to put your weight on that front leg and then bounce it forward. Put your weight on that front leg and then bounce forward. Okay, you got five or six seconds. Practice that one. All right, now the next movement we're going to be working on is a gut shuffle, but this is going to be a long range shuffle. So this time the feet will cross. Okay, so if I'm here, I'll do a side push so you can see what I'm talking about. Almost a jumping move. Okay, so you're covering a lot of space on this particular person, uh, on this particular shuffle. And what's happening is the person is farther away. You can't reach them, so you need that long movement, boom, boom, to catch them. Okay, and again, which shuffle do you use? Whatever you need to use to get to him. Whether it's a short one, a medium one, or a long range movement. So practice a long range movement at this time. So big jump with that back foot and then shuffle. Keep that left side in front because you're going to be hitting with that, that front hand. You're going to be hitting with that front hand as you move. Practice that. You've got five or six seconds to practice that and then we're moving on. Good. All right. Moving on. Now we're bouncing from the knees and it's exactly what it says. So, so you're still moving around. You can move forward or backwards, but the bounce is here. Okay, so he sees movement, you're making movement, and you're ready to explode one way or the other. So you can move left, you can move right, but the bounce is really from those knees. Okay? Your feet don't leave the ground. Your feet, right, your feet don't leave the ground, they're planted. Okay, as soon as you shift, you're planted, and you're ready to explode and push off of those feet. Let's see you practice that a little bit. Watch Mr. Jameson. He's bouncing from those knees, so there's constant movement there, and all of a sudden, boom, he explodes and does the, the, uh, he's able to do a hand combination. You've got 10, 15 seconds to practice that, and we're moving on. All right, next movement is a stutter step. All right, in a fighting stance, what he's going to do now, his shoulder stays in front, but very quickly he switches feet and switches back. It's called a stutter step movement. Watch again. A lot of fighters use this to kick. His front foot becomes his front, back foot, boom. And then he'll round kick, front kick, side kick, whatever he wants to do. Okay, so sometimes that stutter step movement is just below the other leg, the front leg, uh, and then do the movement. But sometimes you see he just does it just to kind of mess with the guy a little bit, not to confuse him. Okay, and again, you're faking here, and all of a sudden, boom, you switch those feet real quick, and it's like, whoa, the other person doesn't, doesn't know exactly what you're doing. 
and you keep them in a state of confusion. Okay, you got 10, 15 seconds to practice stutter step movement. Make sure that left shoulder stays in front. Make sure your guard stays up. Hands are up near your face. Chuck the chin in, shoulders up, and stutter step. Move around. Stay light. Stay light. Stay the balls in view. Remember, it's like a game of tag. You don't just stand there and do the movement. You're moving. Constantly staying light and relaxed. Boom! And then explode the movement. All right, moving on. The next one is switching feet, okay? When you switch your fighting stance, and let's say you prefer doing a shovel side kick or a side kick with the opposite leg. That's your favorite side. You, you like the left, but you like the right a little bit better. That's, you, that's what I used to do. Okay, so you switch feet, okay? And all of a sudden, you're, now you've got that leg in front that you want to kick with. But you disguise it by switching, switching back, move around a little bit, you're throwing fakes every once in a while, you switch feet. So to the, to the opponent, he doesn't know why you're switching feet, he just knows that you're moving. But really what you're going to end up doing is switching feet to the side that you want to use, and all of a sudden, boom, you're ready to shuffle in and do a side kick or whatever you want. So right now, practice switching feet. Okay, we're not switching and switching back right away. When you're switching and then moving around for a little while, two or three seconds, then switch back, do that a few times. You've got five seconds here. Practice that one, switching feet. All right, your next movement now is switching and switching back. So you're in a fighting stance, you can make a complete switch to the other side, and it's a complete switch back, but you're doing fast. Okay, so go. So it's not a stutter step. Your shoulder is coming in front, and then the other one shoulder comes in front, then it goes back. Okay, in a stutter step, the shoulder stays there and doesn't move. Okay, but in the switching switch back, you move and you move right back. Okay, you're gonna practice that a little bit. And again, keep moving as you do the movement. Move around, stay light, stay mobile, like a game of tag again. You gotta be ready, you gotta have a good base, you gotta be ready to explode and move somewhere without standing straight up and down or doing one little thing in a static position. You gotta be mobile at all times. All right, let's see you do that. Switch and switch back. Got five more seconds and then we're moving on to the next one. We got two more to go. All right, on the next one now. This is Mr. Aaron Norris from one of his favorite techniques. Front foot comes, you're bouncing, but you bring the front, front foot uh, back. You bring the front foot back. You're not, your body's not going anywhere. Okay, the front foot's just coming back. The front foot's just coming back. What's happened now, if you do a lunge, you cover a certain amount of space. You can see where his foot is. And that, now when he switches feet and puts his foot back, he can take a giant step, and all of a sudden, He's over there, okay? Aaron Norris used to do this all the time. We used to watch him fight, and we, we knew exactly what he was going to be doing when that front foot came back. He was going to boom, explode, and cover a tremendous amount of space. The guys were never ready for it. He probably hit guys nine out of 10 times with that movement. Okay, the body is not moving forward. The foot is coming back, so there's not that danger. If you low this, the person thinks you're coming. If you're right here, that body's still there. But all of a sudden, boom, you explode and take that giant step. Okay, and also when you do that, remember that left shoulder is going to stay in front because that's what he's going to hit with. He's going to hit with that hand as he goes forward. So he's extending that hand, and then the power punch comes after that. All right, let's see you do that. Stay light and relaxed. Stay light and relaxed. Get that front foot coming in and out. Stay light and relaxed. Front foot coming in and out. Boom! And then explode forward. Got five more seconds, and then we'll do the last one here. All right, let's move on to the last one now. On this one, basically the same thing, but now the back foot's moving in and out. You're moving around this way, back foot comes in and out, but then you're ready to do a quick lunge. In my fighting days, in Aaron, Mr. Norris, we used to do a lunging round kick to the groin. And in most tournaments, you can't kick to the groin anymore except our UFF tournament. But you can do the same thing and strike to the body, or if you're nice and limber, bang, pop it up to the head. Okay, so again, back foot's coming in and out. Watch Mr. Jameson. Back foot comes in and out, but when he's in that position, he can quickly, boom, shoot in, strike to the groin, strike to the ribs, strike to the head, okay? So he's in position here, but because his body's not moving forward, I don't feel that danger. If his body moves forward, I want to adjust, whoa, he's coming at me, but the body's not moving forward. But what he's done now, he's put his foot in a perfect position to lunge in and do that lunging round kick, groin, body, head. All right, practice that a little bit on your own.
Alright, good. So, finally, before we wrap up, we're going to start mixing in some of the footworks like you'll have to do on a black belt test. So, everyone get a fighting stance, get those hands up, and listen for my call. I want you to balance from the knees, look loose, look relaxed, ready to fight, and lunge. Good. Move back. Ready, bounce from the knees once again. Bouncing from the knees, ready, lunge. There we go, good, and back it up. Ready, bouncing from, bouncing up and down this time. Bounce up and down. Up and down, leaving the ground, not just your knees. Actually leave the ground, and lunge to your right. And move back. Bounce up and down once again. And lunge at a left forward angle. And move back. Good. Bounce up and down, off the ground, and lunge at a right forward angle. Good. So, <clears throat> just so you know what I mean, bounce, left forward angle, bounce, right forward angle, and then back right angle and back left angle will be coming up next. Ready? Bounce from the knees this time. Bounce from the knees, and lunge at back right angle. And come on back. Ready? Lunge at a back left angle. And come back. Good. And let's see a bounce side to side on this one. Bouncing side to side. Ready? And shuffle forward. Good. Bouncing side to side again. And shuffle backwards. Good. And back it up. Good. Back, uh, back forward where you were. Good, and bounce side to side. Let me see a stutter step. Bouncing side to side again. Stutter step. And switch feet. Good, and let me see a step through. Good, back it up, and bounce forward and backward. Forward and backward. And step through. Good. Bounce forward and backward again. And shuffle. Alright. And bounce forward and backward. And switch and switch back. Bounce forward and backward. Switch and switch back. Good. Bouncing up and down once again. And let me see a stutter step. Make sure you're always faking while you're doing this. So don't just bounce, take the time to think, throw, throw the little short punches, throw the shoulders into it, and then come right back to your bounce. All right, now the bounce is up and down. Ready, and start set. Good, and shuffle backwards. All right. Good, all right, so there's a bunch of different combinations we could go through, but that's good enough for now. Um, what I want you to do for the next few seconds is try and mix all of it in by yourself, and then we'll go ahead and in class from there. All right, 10 seconds, mix all of it together, go. Keep those shoulders, keep that chin tucked in, keep those hands up in the guard position while you're doing those movements, and always be very mobile, just like a game of tag, someone's trying to tag you with a fist, but you gotta be ready to move at all times, bounce and move back and forth, okay? Stay loose, relax, stay for that front hand, stay for that back, the shoulder, the back shoulder, use your hands, get in their space and back out, move around, move around, let them, never let them know when you're coming. Never let them know when you're coming. Work out different footwork, so eventually you start finding the footwork that works best for you. Five more seconds. Alright, good job everyone. Come back to your race dance. Excellent working with you today. Come to attention. Bow. Race dance.